What's up everybody and welcome to a Clearwater Creek up here in Arkansas in the Ozarks. I am going to go fishing today with these little trout slayer little crawdads. I'm at a bridge right now so I just literally got in here and there are smallies all behind me. I even seen some largemouth in this little pool right behind me but I'm going to go fishing with these and these. I'm going to put these little one 32nd ounce jig heads on here and See what we can catch. Hopefully we catch a bunch of fish. So let's get to fishing. All right, here's our finesse little setup here with this crawdad on here, this little bitty crawl. And I know we're starting right here at the bridge, but I am seeing all kinds of fish in this little pool right here. There's a little stretch right here. It's actually two bass right in front of me right now, a smallie and a large mouth. Got one. I don't know what that was, but I seen it come up and hit it. Wow, look at the colors on this fish. Wow. Let's see. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna be good with the species on this one. I, uh, not a pumpkin seed. Oh great. Is that a green sunfish? I don't see the little dot back here, so tell me in the comment section, guys. You guys are like awesome on your ID on a lot of these panfish species, and this is one I don't catch a lot. Long ear, maybe? No, because there's no long ear. Hmm. Anyways, thanks, buddy. There's one. I think that's a smallie. Sm first smallie of the day. I mean, it's not a big one, but these fish in here are just so pretty. Oh, I didn't even get to really look at him. Oh, I got something right there. I think it was another smallie. No, he came off. But Got one. What did we catch? Oh, is this a warm? Oh yeah, warm mouth, right? Where's that rock bass? I always get it. They're so close in the way that they look. Uh, I'm gonna go rock bass on this one. I don't think that's a warm mouth. Let me know, guys. I'm catching some species I haven't caught in a long time, and I caught one up, caught one down in Texas the other day, and I couldn't tell the difference. I called it a. I think a rock bass and it was actually a warm mouth, so let me know. Got one. There's a smallie right there. Nice. Oh, quick release. Here they come. Let's see if they want it. Oh, one got it. I don't know if that's a big chub. Oh, we'll find out. It's a smallie. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, too. Oh, there was another one following it. God, look how pretty these fish are. Man, they're lively. Dang. Just a pretty fish. Gosh, that is awesome down here along these cliffs. All right, buddy. Big posses. Got one. Oh, got him. Got another one. Man, they are so aggressive. Dang. That is so much fun. Wow, those are pretty fish. Right in front of me. And he got it. He got it. Nice. That is so much fun watching him eat it. Oh, he got me. Got me. I'm gonna take a picture of that little dude. Oh, I got 
got one walking right in front of me. There's a little drop off and I'm standing in this ankle deep water. He was right there. That was pretty cool. But man, these fish are just, all of them are so good looking, but mainly catching smallies. I have seen a couple largemouth, but thanks bud. I have to say, this is probably one of the coolest spots I have ever been to. There is nothing but cliffs that go all the way back in there. And it looks like there's some caverns or caves back in there. So being up here in the Ozarks, I wouldn't be surprised if there's arrowheads and stuff lining these bluffs down through here or something. There's people that find stuff all the time. But I also found this little chub right here that's like almost dead, but not. And his tail's all ate up. He doesn't have a fin. I'm thinking a bass ate him and then spit him back out. That's the only thing I can think of. Man, there are so many smallmouth. Let's see if they'll bite it. I'm going to try bottom bouncing it. Kind of like a Ned. See if that works. Got one, whatever that is. That'll get them fired up. Yeah, they all come around when that one starts splashing. Bluegill. That's a nice little bluegill. Look at the colors. That's like a perfect looking bluegill right there. Thanks, buddy. one of those bigger smallies on these panfish trying to eat it uh oh as soon as it hit the water there's a fish but not the size I was looking for but it's the right species nice little brownie good looking little dude thanks buddy this is the perfect spot for a smallie right there. Big rock. Right down in there in that bottom. Oh yeah, I knew it. Perfect spot. Perfect little spot right there on the back side of that rock. Right where you were supposed to be waiting for something to feed on. Oh, 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 buddy. Well, quick release. There you go. All I gotta say is wow. This little thing caught everything. I know these smallmouth probably aren't as pressured. They're in this really, really cold, clear spring water basically is what this is. And they are just in groups and they are so aggressive today. And they were slamming this little thing. That, oh, this was the trout magnet little crawl. But being down here, I mean, I am surrounded by cliffs down here in this bend, and it is just some awesome fishing. But I think I'm going to head back to the truck. So thanks for watching, you guys, and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.